guys, it's Google again with another ROM review, and this time I've got the CR Droid version 5.0 based on Android Pie, Android 9.0 for the OnePlus 3. So stay tuned for that. guys the CR Droid ROM it's been around for a long time CR Droid is one of those ROMs which has been coming or in the making or being perfecting itself for a long long time I've used that first time on the Galaxy S3 and then moving forward it has been available for all the devices which I have owned and uh, well it, because of that reason it is a very very refined ROM so let's get started now first of all what you see here is the launcher which is called the quick step let's go to the system option in the about phone page you can see uh, it is uh, this device it is for the one plus three so you can see that cr droid version is version 5.0 security patches is september kernel is uh, this one which is the lineage os kernel this is based on lineage os and this is one of those uh, primarily based on lineage rom so you will get a lot of stuff which is similar to Lineage OS. If you're going to have bugs in Lineage OS, that's probably going to be reflected in this one too. So that's just how it is. So that is it in the About Phone page. Let's go to the other stuff now. Let's get started. Now, first of all, before every, before I want anything to, uh, before I talk anything else about it, uh, this does not seem to have ULT support. I have tried out my method, which is by installing a stock based ROM previous to installing this ROM and then flashing the latest open beta. Uh, firmware files didn't work and also I have tried the VLT fix hack or uh, VLT fix zip file still it doesn't work it just doesn't work I'm not sure if uh, anyone else has managed to get VLT working on this one this one still doesn't seem to be working with that and also with every Android Pie as of right now uh, this one does not have encrypted more so if your device is encrypted please do not flash this you will lose your data so keep that in mind let's get to the features now first of all this is a feature rich ROM CR Droid has always been a feature rich ROM. It is right up there with the most feature rich ROMs available. With the Pi iteration, uh, it's not as feature rich as other ROM maybe. But let's get started now. First of all, all the features are inside the CR Droid settings. Uh, before that, let's let's just go through all the other stuff. Everything works uh, as I've already said. SIM cards, both SIM cards work, slots work, so no issues with that. But the old these doesn't seem to be working on mine at least, so that's there. Uh, battery uh, settings are available. It does have battery manager, which is a Pi feature. Battery saver and performance is available, which is a lineage feature, so you do have that, you can customize that. Battery percentage can be enabled from here. There is no option to get the circle or uh, battery styles on the status bar, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever it is there, it is what it is. So, apart from that, uh, display options. In the display option, there is night light, adaptive brightness, live display, and this is something which I've been missing in other Oreo ROMs or Pi ROMs. I really really like the dynamic profile, color profile because it gives us a more saturated colors in blues and uh, colors like that. It is a colder color. I like that. I, it's, it may not be the best for this phone or my face uh, but I like it. It does have outdoor brightness mode so if you are someone who wants to use that. There is no quick tile or something for that so just there. Reading mode grayscale is available. Uh, color calibration, power consumption can be customized. All of these are available. Font size can be customized from here and also display size. Display size only has three options, which is less options than other ROMs, so I guess that is there. Double tap to sleep on the status bar, wake up on plug, and the prevent accidental wake up. All of these options can be enabled from here. Sound options, basically whatever you would find in any other ROM, nothing special going on here. Security lock options, you do have all the options which you might find in any other ROM, nothing special. In the CR Droid settings, now CR Droid settings is where all the extra stuff resides in the settings menu for this ROM. Let's get started. First option is status bar. In the status bar menu, you have clock style, you can customize that. Clock and day styles can also be customized in here also. So you don't have font option, but uh, most other things are available, so you can customize that. Network traffic indicator is available and you can customize that and it is really really cool. I really like that. You can enable disable that. I have disabled it because just uh, it takes up a lot of space. Uh, you can enable that. You can customize that into megabytes per second or kilobytes per second. You have a lot more options than what you would find in other Pi ROMs on this one. But it is what it is. Logo can be enabled, logo color can be customized, uh, logo position, logo style can be customized which are all available. Double to sleep on the status bar is available which you can enable from here also apart from display settings. Quick pull down, smart pull down is available. Quick setting panel you have customization for tile title. 
uh, vibrate on touch it can be enabled or disabled brightness at a position can be enabled and the auto brightness style or the uh, button can be enabled or disabled if you want that I really like this one other uh, the other ROM which I reviewed which is MSM extended was missing their option and I kind of missed that uh, so that's there. Lossing options you can enable visualizer, cover art and battery info when you're charging. Face auto unlock is also available which is pretty cool. Uh, tap to sleep is available, double tap to sleep anywhere on the lock screen to put the device back on sleep if you're checking out the time or something. It's also available. Power menu on the lock screen can also be enabled if you want that so that's pretty nice. Navigation bar can be enabled and also it can have the pixel animations which is pretty cool so you can see. Uh, the animations are available which you can customize which is nice to have button customization is available we can have backlight buttons and external touches available advanced restart for the power button can be enabled from here and also in the developer settings menu so that's also available uh, power button for torch settings is available and automatic turn off is available for that home button back button and recent button can be customized uh, for double tap and single tap back button only for long press so that's there uh, this is not the uh, USB style stuff, it is the Linus style so you have few less options like uh, you don't have custom applications which you can bind to that but still for my normal usage it is pretty cool. Uh, volume button customizations are available, you can have uh, the playback control and also keyboard cursor control which is my favorite one so it works out. Now this one comes with the Samsung layout of uh, hardware keys out of the box. Yeah, I've swapped it because I like the OnePlus way better and uh, OnePlus and the stock way better so you can customize that. It also has awesome sliders which is pretty cool so you can customize that. It does work out really well. Uh, all of these options are available if in all the um, other stuff so yeah. Interface settings you do have ambient display you can enable that. It is a tail sensor, pickup sensor and uh, proximity sensors are available with the uh, notification options also available so it does work out really well. Animation can be customized from here. It doesn't really have a lot of options but Screen of animations are available, you can customize that and also AOKP style uh, quick setting animations, list view interpolator, list view animations, those animations can be customized, all of these options are available which you can customize. Expanded desktop mode is available where you can customize which all application can use expanded desktop. Now styles, this is where the, this is kind of the theming feature, it does have dark mode as you can see I have selected dark mode. Now both uh, dark and amulet black is available, this is an older uh, Resurrection Remix style uh, dark mode, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that is not it but that is where I've seen this first time. Uh, you can also select it by, with the wallpapers which is pretty cool. Uh, all of these colors are available. There's also light mode available which you can customize. One thing which you need to understand is that uh, if you have, if you are someone who uses substratum themes which this one does support with root, if you have dark mode enabled, substratum doesn't seem to work for me so that is something which you need to keep in mind. In the other options in the notification option you can customize the light brightness settings so the battery light can be customized which is available which you can customize notification light can be customized and also which is the, which is normal stuff notification light in this one is uh, slightly better in my opinion which is the older style one or not the oreo or pi style heads up display can be customized it does have timeout and snooze timer which you can disable and uh, reduce the uh, timeout this is pretty cool Charging sound can be enabled or disabled, screenshot sound can be enabled or disabled and also volume steps can be customized if you are someone who wants to do that. Miscellaneous options, it does have Addaway. Now Addaway is version 6.0 which is pretty cool, I really like that. There are people who use their own Addaway client so you might have to remove that by, by yourself. It does have wake clock blocker and alarm blocker, also show CPU usage can be customized or uh, enabled from here. Toast icon can be enabled or disabled, pocket detection is available and signature spoofing if you want to use open G apps or uh, micro G app so that's also available. So that is it in the extra settings and as you have seen it is a it is quite a feature rich ROM. It has a lot of features to be uh, to have a lot of things. But considering other ROMs, at least the ones which I've tried, like uh, Havoc and MSM Extended, granted these are like the kings of features. Uh, compared to that, it doesn't really have a lot more than that, or even matching that. It has a slightly less amount of features, uh, and it's not really uh, up there with those ones. So I'm gonna dock a few points for that. So I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for features. Now the battle life. The battle life has been pretty good for me. Um, I've been getting uh, somewhere in between a 14 percentage of active drain and uh, about 1.3 to 1.4 percentage of idle drain, which, which I would consider as acceptable and uh, pretty good battery life for a ROM. So 
I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for battery life. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM has been uh, pretty equal to whatever Oreo ROM or Pi ROM which I've tried. So as you can see the score has been 144,812 averaging it about 145,327 uh, out of the runs which I've done which is respectable which is kind of similar to what I got with Havoc ROM not as uh, as much as I got with MSM Extended. So yeah it is there i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because it is what i expect out of a pyro now the stability of the rom stability of the rom is pretty good i did have a few stuttering issues while the phone was being set up uh here and there there were a few stuttering issues and uh, whenever you change the theme you need to reboot uh, or else it doesn't get applied uh, the system ui did crash a few times when i was doing that but yeah there are these little bit of jitters mind you this is an official version which is in beta so Yes, you can expect a little bit of stability issues or a little bit of jitters here and there. So keep that in mind. But for the purposes of this video, I have used it and I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for stability. Now the camera, it just comes with the stock basic Pi camera application so you can see that. It works, uh, it's not any, it's not that it's a problem or anything. I can take videos, I can take photographs. So that is pretty much it. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for camera. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. Aesthetics of the ROM is pretty good. Uh, the uh, the uh, extra settings menu is something which I really like. Uh, it doesn't really have any issues with uh, the elements not working or anything of that sort which I have seen or noticed in MSM Extended ROM where the contact uh, search bar and all that was kind of wonky. Uh, but the extra, extra settings uh, menu, all of them have its own icons and all that. It just looks better so I really like that. Uh, it does have dark mode as you've already seen. Uh, this is the older style dark mode but still dark mode is a dark mode. And also rooted substratum support. I have tried it out. It works uh, and as I've already mentioned you need to disable the uh, the inbuilt dark mode for the substratum to work. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for aesthetics. Now the overall experience. It's a mighty fine ROM. I really like the ROM. It's been working out really well for me, so I didn't really have any issues with this, particularly considering this is a beta ROM. Yes, there were a few stuttering issues, yes, there were some system UI crashes, but there was nothing which caused me to miss a call or miss the essentials which I would consider in a phone. Yeah, I didn't really have any of those issues, so I'm really happy with the ROM. VLD doesn't work, which is kind of a bummer, but pers personally, right now, I'm not using a VLD ROM, so it doesn't really affect me right now. But in the future, I will be switching over to Geo, so yeah, uh, at that time it might be different. I can understand if people are not going to use this ROM because of that sole reason. For the overall experience, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation, which is the exact Google boot animation which you would expect out of this ROM. Now, uh, that is pretty much it. There will be a uh, loading stuff which will come down which was too quick to boot up, so yeah. Now it doesn't have uh, the fingerprint unlock on boot, uh, so you have to punch in your pin code, pin number, so these are stuff which I kind of liked in other ROMs like Havoc and MSM Extended, but hey, it's just how it is, so yeah. So yeah, I guess that should be it about the ROM. In conclusion, it's a great ROM. I don't really have much faults about it. It works out really, really well. And, uh, but personally, I might not use these options. A uh, few things which I did not mention uh, that VLG does not work, uh, even though I don't use it, I would really like to have that option if I need to use that. So that is there. And a few of the settings which I really really like, uh, like proximity, proximity phone call does not work on this one, proximity speakerphone does not have, uh, it's not here in this. So yeah, I really use that a lot, that's one thing. Quick setting panel options are not available. These are all the quick setting options which are there, but quick setting uh, customization is not available, which is a huge bummer for me. I really like that. These are a few things which kind of makes the experience a little bit more better. These are missing in this one, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with that. But again, this is a beta ROM. You need to keep that in mind. This will only get better from here, so I'm really happy about that. I guess I'm just said the final score is coming to about 6.18134715. This is a weighted average, which I do calculate with my this thing. I have changed a few parameters because the times have changed, the parameters will change with it also. 
So the final score is 6.2, which is a respectable score for a new beta ROM. So yeah, I guess that makes it about the video then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.